And instead of going back down the hole, we go under the log. We now have a bite and a trap. Hi, I'm Captain Brian from US Captain's Training. Today, we wanna to talk about knot theory. We wanna talk about the diameter of a line. We're gonna to talk to you about the simple parts of a knot, the first part being a trap, second part being a bite. You put a bite in a trap and close it down. You have a simple knot called a trucker's hitch, but small variations off the bite and trap, you can make different knots. If I take this line and put it through my bite, I have a bowline. I'll show you several different knots using the bite and trap method. So, let's get started. Let's look at the square knot. All trap and bite knots are variations of the square knot. The interesting thing about a square knot is there is no trap, bite on bite. So here we have one bite, and now to make the other bite, the rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the back of the tree, and back down the hole. Notice that we have bite on bite, no trap. The purpose of this knot is when their extreme loads are put on this line, instead of the knot failing or the line parting, it simply slowly pays out, but does not part. To tie a sheet bend, we have a bite, the rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the back of the tree, and instead of going back down the hole, we go under the log. We now have a bite and a trap called the sheet bend. Now I am going to tie a bowline. Remember, a bowline is a variation of the square knot and is the same knot as a sheet bend tied in reverse order. We have here our square knot. What we do to make a sheet bend is take the tail out and put it under itself. Now we have, instead of bite on bite, we have a bite and a trap. This ties two lines together. Now to tie a bowline, we do it in reverse order. We tied a bite, a trap around a bite. This time we're going to tie a bite around a trap. So here's our trap. The rabbit comes out through the hole, goes around the back of the tree, and down the hole again. Do you see the bite forming through the trap? And we pull the trap close. Now we have a bowline, a non-slipping line, non-slipping loop on the end of the line. This is a sheet bend which ties two lines together, but if you look, they're the exact same knot tied in reverse order. We hope this demonstration has helped you understand basic knot theory. Remember, the reason we tie bites into traps is so the line doesn't fail under heavy loads. This is Captain Brian. Thanks for watching. Join us on the web for more information.